Hello, my adoring fans and Maddie. You join me looking at my breakfast. It's very tasty. Uh, I haven't had cereal for a while, so I thought I'd have some. Anyway, today we were checking out from our hotel and heading to another hotel. But first, we're going to go check out the bridge. Now, uh, they're very original with names here. So it's called Nine Arches Bridge. Can you guess how many arches there were on this bridge? <coughs> that is correct. There were nine. Um, so, interesting fact about this bridge is it was built in 1921 and it was built out of stone because, um, you know, the British Empire didn't have any steel or anything to build it with. Uh, also, the guy who came up with the design, because it was a bit of a, you know, unbelievable design, said, ah, oh, well, the first train that goes across, I'll stand underneath the bridge. And as you can see, it's still here. Uh, and I was pretending to be a train. <laughs> here I am. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, we kind of got across and watched for a little bit as the train came in you may be able to just about see it coming uh, from there sorry for the noise I am by the side of a road there's a track anyway here's the train coming across uh, it's pretty cool I think it's quite a famous bridge quite I'm not sure about the train but it's a fun looking fun little thing that happened. Um, there were lots of people sitting on the sides which I don't know it couldn't be me I'd be too nervous there's also a guy who like climbed out over the edge had one foot on like the keystone of the arch was holding on with one hand. Absolute madman. Like, I don't know, that would have made me shit myself. I'll be honest, I'd have, I'd have, my hands would have been too sweaty to hold on. Anyway, then we walked back across. There's only like four trains a day, so it's pretty low risk. Um, <laughs> then we walked back to the town that we got lost up this hill, so we went back down. Then I bought uh, my beautiful fiance some presents and bought myself some lunch. <clears throat> um, I needed some lunch because I was a hungry little hippo after all that walking and sweating. And I also needed a bunch of water because I'd run out of water. It's quite hard finding water here because a lot of the hotels, they give you some, but you know, I'm probably like twice as big as everyone else. So I get through it all. And if they don't have a refill station, we're not really ever near... Well, we are sometimes near shops, but it's not quite like Southeast Asia where you need more time. Um, you can sometimes get away with it. So I got caught unawares, but I did not get caught unawares by these monkeys. They didn't steal any of my stuff. Um, it's all waterfall. These monkeys I found quite entertaining, uh, mostly because you may see in a second that they're rather, um, when their legs are open, <laughs> it's quite entertaining for the dudes. Um, so yeah. I also, I mean, other people said they saw girl monkeys, but I never once saw a girl monkey. Are you chilling up there, bro? Unless this is a girl monkey, I don't know, zoom in and tell me. Anyway, back in the little bus we got, we went, um, and then we were on our way to our next place, and we saw two elephants. So here's one elephant. Uh, which, this is a good sign because we're going on a safari tomorrow morning at like 5.30 in the morning. So, a bit more? yeah, it's good that we're see, seeing <laughs> elephants away. Uh, then we arrived at our hotel and our pool and then uh, I also saw a couple more elephants in the room. <laughs> They're made of towels. But yeah, early rise tomorrow, so early bedtime today. It's uh, about well. maybe 8.30. <laughs> I'd say. That's um, close enough. I'd I also say. made friends with some ants. They were very big. They don't look big here and there were also about a thousand of them. Um, but yeah, oh well. Anyway, then I had a carbonara for dinner, so I hope everyone's having a good day. Hello, Maddie. Good luck with tryouts. And adios!